Okay, so here's the manual. And Some checks you might want to try. I noticed my brushes were bad right off, so I didn't even try this. Okay, so here's the alternator job. This would be probably part two of the alternator thing I just checked on. So, they have these at AutoZone for like $99. That's the bottom line. $99. Bucks plus $25 for core. Um, I double checked the grounds on it. Put an extra ground wire on it just to make sure it wasn't grounded. What didn't have a ground fault. That didn't work. And so what typically happens is apparently these brushes go bad on it, but this alternator here actually doesn't look too old. Um, it looks like brand new on the other side of this thing. And I don't see any of these things. Sometimes they say that these things can get loose here and cause a bad connection. This thing does not seem to be loose. I sort of pressed it over and it didn't seem to be uh, making a difference. So uh, basically, I had to take... Uh, the mount's off. This is the top mount right there. I'd take that off. And hopefully I can just pull it straight up from here. I had to loosen the, the wiring harness away. And uh, I should have enough room to pull it right up. Hopefully I don't have to take that off. I had to drain uh, like a gallon of coolant out of here so I could get that radiator hose out of the way. So yeah, I haven't uh, actually got it yet, but I'm going to take this one apart and look at the brushes. And because uh, I've got another uh, core, I was going to give them. I was going to try and fix this one. Okay, got it. I had to take that little thing off that holds the uh, overflow, uh, the overflow tank. Yeah, uh, actually, it doesn't look that old, you know, from the bottom. It doesn't look that old at all. I said it's Nissan, genuine Nissan. What do you know? Could be the original. No, it's remanufactured in Mexico. So basically, there's four bolts. On the sides of this, I need to take loose. This bolt here comes out. Um, I'm gonna have to take these bolts off too, and then we can take a look, see what the brushes look like. Okay, got it. I had to take that little thing off that holds the uh, overflow, uh, the overflow tank. All that stuff off. Get the core. So, yeah, this thing uh, actually doesn't look that old, you know, from the bottom. Doesn't look that old at all. I said it's Nissan, genuine Nissan. What do you know? Could be the original. No, it's remanufactured. Okay, there it is. So, what do they call these things? Uh, these little uh, strips in here, I forgot. And basically, they look pretty pitted. I could theoretically clean those up with some fine sandpaper ideally it'd be scotch bright because some of this stuff's magnetic and uh, it's got these four screws that hold these windings on and uh, these brushes don't look all that bad uh, they do kind of look pitted this one here doesn't seem to have much spring to it this one's probably worn out I'm not sure exactly how to replace that I could probably get a replacement replacement set of brushes for that. That's weird though. Uh, so these brushes, I don't know how they connect. 
There's no wire connection here. Maybe they connect on this this terminal here and that terminal. Okay, so that's where that's where they connect. This terminal, that terminal. So I'd say that this brush here is worn out. That brush pack. I'm gonna try and see if I have one uh, a better brush pack in my uh, other core I have, and then try and clean this up with some Scotch Brite. Okay, so this old core that I've got. It seems like there's something else holding it all together. I'm not sure what's holding it. Um, there's no more screws. And uh, just won't, it just won't come, uh, come apart. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put this back together and use this for the core. And then I'll go in line and buy one of these little uh, brush packs. I've seen these brush packs online. clean this up with a little contact cleaner inside there and uh, put some new brushes in that one and I've already ordered one I'll just keep this for a backup after I, uh, after I put new brushes in it so yeah unfortunately this thing here see this one's got all these little bolts on it right this one only has this one bolt I took that loose took the four bolt bolts loose there around the sides and it still won't come apart I I think that these wires here on this one are connected in here somehow but I don't want to like bust this thing apart so uh, I don't have much of a core if I do that so anyway the what I was thinking is some people say that the insides of batteries have this this is made of this so inside of a regular battery like core of this battery is made out of the same material as these brushes and so I'm sure it would be quite a chore to try and carve the inner core to fit in there I mean it might work in a pinch I could probably load it up there um, it wouldn't be a direct contact which is kind of well maybe it would I don't know how these brushes contact these side terminals Okay, so I pedaled my ass all over town trying to find some new brushes, and I went to a local shop here. They had this in the back room. Apparently, these brushes have sort of grooves in them. I kind of like what's on that one right there. And uh, I would think they'd be flat, but apparently now they have some sort of grooves in them that probably make them seat better. I'm not an engineer. I'm just a kind of DUI kind of guy. But see those grooves in there? That's the way they came. That's the way they're going on. Apparently the engineers had something in mind when they did that. Uh, which I am not sure why, but... Uh, once you take those screws off, this whole thing should slide off. It's like that. And then this, this thing here screws in here. This has a sort of seal on it. I'm not sure. I didn't see this on my... When I took this apart, but they gave me this when I bought it. Not sure how that goes on, but basically it just screws in there. Um, and just like that. And then this thing here, this thing here, basically we need to pull that out because that'll uh, let the brushes loose. And uh, should be good to go. Assemble in reverse order, just like the manual. Okay, so what's proving to be uh, a little bit tricky is this bottom nut here whatever it's 14 millimeter there's one that goes on that side and one right there that one goes in fairly easily but it's hard to line up um, so I'm going to try and force it in with this uh, ratchet and see if I can force it in it can't be too far off I've stuck uh, I've stuck this Allen head in here to try and line it up you know and uh, it seems to be lined up fairly well um, so yeah, that's the tricky part. Good luck on your end, guys. Okay, let's see if that alternator rebuild is going to work. Yahoo! Got to tighten up that belt, but hey, it's working now.